Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Loser Baby from Has Been Hotel on the piano. All right, give you a preview before we start learning it. It's pretty catchy. It goes like this. Check it out. Alright, awesome stuff. Let's learn the melody and block chords. That's the foundation. And afterwards, you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. Let's get right into it. So, right hand starts on the C sharp up here. So, middle C is here for a reference. We go up an octave to this C. It's a C sharp just above that. Okay, let's learn it. Okay, so right hand starts on the C sharp E, G sharp down to B, C sharp E, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp E, F sharp E, F sharp E, F sharp. That's it for the first part. We'll break up the lesson to four parts. It's easy to learn. Let's load it once again. So it goes C sharp, E, G sharp, down to B. C sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. All right. Left hand, we have five chords. The five chords are E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Third chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Fourth chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. And then the fifth chord is first inversion, B major. D sharp, F sharp, B. So with these five chords in mind, so E major, F sharp major, A major, E major, and first inversion, B major. With that in mind, uh, uh, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, G sharp and E major together. C sharp and F sharp major together. After G sharp, A major by itself. E and E major together, E and next chord together, like that. All right, let's learn once again. So it goes together, together, here, together, together. That's it. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues. It goes G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, E, B, C sharp, B, E, C sharp, E, E, E. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, E, B. C sharp, B, E, C sharp, E, E, E. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have five chords. We have C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Second chord is F sharp major, which is a fully black note chord. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Third chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Fourth chord is B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. And fifth chord, E major, E, G sharp, B. So with these five chords in mind, so it goes C sharp minor, F sharp major, A major, B major, and E major. The two ends together goes like this. So uh, left hand starts, right continues. E and F sharp major together. E and A major together. E and B major together. And next E and E major together. Like that. Let's learn once again. So it goes here. Together. 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 That's it. So... Um, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Alright, moving on to the third part, right continues. Go C sharp, E, G sharp, down to B, C sharp, E, C sharp, up to G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, C sharp, B. That's it for the uh, third part. So it's kind of like similar to the first part, but just a little bit different uh, with extra notes. Okay. Left hand. Uh, let me see. Actually, right, one more time for the right hand. So C sharp, E, G sharp, down to B. C sharp, E, C sharp, up to G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, C sharp, B. Yeah. Okay. Left hand, we have the same five chords as the first part, however. So we just E major, F sharp major, A major, E major, and first inversion of B major. It's the same five chords as the first part. Okay, with that in mind, right hand starts. G sharp and E major together. C sharp and F sharp major together. F sharp and A major together. F sharp and E major together. C sharp and first version chord together. That's it. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together, 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 together. That's it for the third part. So back to back, the three parts of learned so far will be played like this.
All right, moving on to the fourth and last part. This part is uh, probably the harder part because the chords change really quickly. Okay, so let's learn it now. So right hand starts on the G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E, 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 C sharp, E, E, B. That's it. Let's learn it once again. So it goes G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E, 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 C sharp, E, E, B. Okay, the right hand's not that hard, but the left hand, a lot of chords here. We have one, two, Oh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chords. Okay, because a lot of changing chords at the start. So there's C sharp minor, C sharp E, G sharp, and then we have first inversion G sharp major, which is C D sharp G sharp, and then first inversion G sharp minor, which is B D sharp G sharp, and then first inversion of F sharp major, which is A sharp C sharp F sharp, and then A major A C sharp E, and then B major B D sharp F sharp, and E major E G sharp B. Yeah, it's a lot of chords, so remember to write it down and practice it. So C sharp minor, first inversion of G sharp major, first inversion G sharp minor, first inversion of F sharp major, and A major, B major, E major, like that. Okay, so just practice it a few times, get it under your fingers, and once you get it, two hands together goes like this, so it just goes together, here, 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 together, together, here like that let's learn it again so it's get up here 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 to get up to get up here that's it when it's faster that's why it's harder because it's quite quick in changing the chords and you might hit the wrong notes when you change that quickly for the chords because there's more than one notes playing there at the same time so yeah take it easy go slow and build up the speed okay so two hands together uh, for all of the parts will be played back to back like this Awesome, very catchy. So once you learn the melody and chords, you can repeat it consistently correct. You can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version, all right? So left hand, you can do like octave and arpeggios. Yeah, the chords change pretty quickly, so you can just kind of like, um, like sometimes just do rhythmic patterns, rhythmic patterns. Yeah, especially the fast changing chords, you can't really do that much, okay? But anyway, right hand, you can harmonize on the chords here and there to make it thicker in texture as so a play around. Yeah, play around and have fun, okay? So yeah, hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn other awesome, catchy, awesome, beautiful tunes like this, search up your favorite song name followed by Amos Stoll in the YouTube search to find those other lessons for yourself. I've done a lot of Has Been Hotel songs as well. Just search up Has Been Hotel Amos Stoll as well to check all those out. But after now, if you want to learn more piano from me, if you like my teaching method and style, how I break everything up step by step, you can check out my website linked in the description. It's called bestpianomethod.com to check out my piano courses, books, and services, and a lot of other learning content there. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you all next time.